before. That's unbelievable. Water. Yeah, they had some big time storms rolling right over there. And if you remember back to yesterday, they had storms yesterday as well. So definitely portions of Colfax County being hit hard again today, though now we're seeing storms start to sag to the south. Let's get into details on that. Here in the metro, things are relatively quiet for now with partly cloudy skies. Don't think we're looking at a real active night here for storms, but we do have plenty of action going on out there and up across northeastern New Mexico right through Las Vegas, picking up another round of storms here. Areas of Mora County over into especially Harding County. We're picking up some pretty good storms as well out into west central sections. A crop of storms south of Black Rock down into areas areas of Catron County as well, picking up some storms and across the southwestern portion of the state. Been tough to get a whole lot going here after a very active day yesterday. Things are starting to ramp up at least a little bit, but not in a major league way. Flash flood warnings continue over Sandoval County and over areas of Mora County and San Miguel County. What's going on in Sandoval County? We'll show you in just a second. And then the flash flood watches are holding over southern New Mexico for now. 83 degrees in the metro south southeast winds 7 miles an hour temperature 60 70s and 80s for the north down to the south 70s and 80s as well. What we've got here is just one little storm sitting over the Jemez Mountains, which is causing some flooding flooding issues rather there. Otherwise, we're sitting between a couple of areas of high pressure and we've got some moisture hanging in between, so that is being fueled each day for the thunderstorms, or at least is fueling the thunderstorms. And what we'll end up with here is still a weather disturbance and another cold front coming in for tomorrow. So we'll keep the active storm times going, not only Friday afternoon, but probably Saturday afternoon as well. Now, the front itself won't bring in additional moisture. What it will act as is a focusing point for thunderstorms. So we'll watch along that front. And even into Saturday, the east might dry out a little bit. Central and western sections, and even here in the metro, still look pretty active through Saturday before things start to quiet down here. But we've got a nice combination, at least for a couple of more days, with another little weather disturbance. Some of these things working around high pressure pressure floating through the state here and you combine that with a trigger point that is a cold front and all of that helps to keep storms going but the high is eventually going to drag in and help drag in some drier air across the area and that's going to lead to fewer and fewer thunderstorms probably into next week but I'll tell you what this is a weird forecast in the respect that this time of year there's not necessarily the easiest setup to decipher here on everything shaking itself out so we'll keep you posted on what we expect for at least the next couple of days though should be pretty active chance tomorrow for storms in the southwestern portion of Colorado up to about 25% chance at 20% across the northwest temperatures in the 80s and 90s over to the southwest another good round of rain will be a possibility for tomorrow and throughout the weekend as well over to the southeast partly sunny skies here and warm conditions chance at showers around 20% or so up to the northeast that chance goes up significantly with that front draped across the northeast Another good trigger point for storms. Northern mountains, another good day of storms for tomorrow. Today really hasn't been all that active, 60s, 70s, and 80s. East mountains, temperatures for the most part in the 80s with scattered rain showers. And finally right here in the metro, temperatures topping out in the high 80s for tomorrow with some scattered showers to spot showers around in the next few days. That chance of shower sticks with us before backing off next week. Still in the game. Yep. yep. Sports is next.